Hi, it's Sandra from quirkybooks.wordpress.com. How are you doing? I am absolutely so excited because today I'm going to the National Achievers Congress. Now in this video, I want to talk you quickly through how to prepare for the National Achievers Congress or another business seminar. So, just to let you know what I'm gonna say, first of all, I have something prepared. This is Nick, I'm seeing him live on stage, so make sure you know who's gonna be there on stage. This was from the Success Seminar last year, um, but it advertised the National Achievers Congress already. And this guy here is amazing. He was born with no legs, just like this flipper foot, no arms. And he's absolutely sensational now he's married and has a second baby on the way. So that's incredible. So don't forget, you need to know who's going to be on stage and obviously um, who you want to see the most because it's going to be an action-packed day. I mean, the National Achievers Congress is starting registration from quarter past seven, which is already gone. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the thing is to be on time. So the registration starts at 7.15 and the actual event starts at 8.15, 8.30. So make sure you know your timings, make sure you set your alarm clock, get up early, go and get changed, have a shower, make sure um, what you're wearing looks appropriate to the actual um, other people there because you're going to do loads and loads of networking. That brings me to my next point. Uh, cards. Don't forget your business cards. Don't forget your business cards. That's really important because you're going to do loads of networking. Okay, you're there to see big names or maybe not so big names in the smaller seminars. But you're also there to network for your own businesses. So always remember your own business objective. Okay, so you've got to know who's on stage. Make sure you get up early. Make sure you know your timings. Make sure you've got your business cards. And don't forget, you need a phone. So um, this is my mobile phone. Uh, you need your phone because you want to take some pictures, maybe some videos to upload to your um, website or um, you know your YouTube channel. Uh, if you've got one, um, blogging, anything, you know, you need to phone and to contact other people as well if you need to. Um, obviously, if you've got any business meetings or other things coming up that are going on in your business, you need a phone to be able to communicate with your staff uh, in between times. Don't forget to take food. Now, this is really important. You've got to take your snacks. Yeah, you've got to take your snacks because, I mean, the seminar is going on tonight till like 8 o'clock. And to be honest, it could go on longer. And that's with any seminar. You know, they could go on longer or they could go on shorter. So it's important to take snacks and water. Water is so important. You need to keep hydrated um, because sometimes um, they have a lot of audience participation. And, you know, if you're jumping around or, you know, doing lots and lots of activity, you need to keep hydrated. Also, it's really good for your health. And another thing that's good for your health apparently is getting some sleep as you can see i'm a bit tired that's because i do multiple jobs and i'm always on the go and i do like being on the go plus i have a bit of insomnia so um yeah um in general try and get some sleep before the night um or the day uh, of the seminar and try and get some rest so you're fully refreshed and recuperated if you're like me who's a bit of a workaholic and lack of sleepaholic then it's important to you know Get in the right mindset. If you're tired, that's fine. Park it. Today's another day. You live in this moment. Be mindful. So if you're tired, put it behind you. Forget you're tired. Think, I am going to live this moment and I am going to enjoy it with all of my being. And I'm going to be present and I'm going to be focused. And I'm going to concentrate on this. So concentration is the most important, but focus your mind. It's all about mindset. Even if you had hardly any sleep, mindset and adrenaline does the job. Okay, tickets. Another thing to remember is your tickets. So yeah, these like this is oh, obviously your paperwork and your tickets. Tickets, tickets, tickets. Can you see that? Oh, that's my that's my train. <laughs> you don't forget your train tickets to get to the seminar or your public transport, your car, petrols. You know, make sure your petrols in your car or whatever to get there. Don't forget your clothes, your hair straighteners if you want to straighten your hair. If you want to pay makeup on, fine, you don't have to. But I intend to put makeup on to these events because I like to look dressy because I'm going to see top entrepreneurs and speakers. So it's always good to look the part and sort of, um, you know, I was going to say fit in, but you don't need to fit in as in you were born to stand out. But it's nice if you can sort of communicate on the level of the people that you're going to be speaking to. So dress appropriate for that. And also, um, if you're going to London for a seminar, which I go to quite a bit, 
don't forget your tubes, uh, your tube um, maps, because you might need them. So I don't know if I've got any tube maps or where the tube map. Don't forget your tube map, really important. And don't forget notepad and pens. It's really important because they'll be sharing lots of insider information, hints and tips on how to succeed in business and have the right mindset and the right attitude. If you don't have a notepad and pen, you need to go out and buy one quickly. I would highly recommend it. Some people don't take any notes, but there's little gems in there. They're not gonna dig down and tell you every single thing about their system or their products or services because they're gonna want you to buy it, obviously, because if you're in their position, you'd want that too, yeah? You're coming to see them, they're doing a lot of stuff for free, giving a lot of stuff away, adding value to your life. So of course, they wanna promote their own products, but in there is some hidden gems. If you listen closely to the entrepreneurs and business speakers and you put all their information together, you can start forming your own system. That's a really good tip. So, um, to finish off with then, don't forget to have loads and loads of fun. Talk to people, get out there. Even if you're introvert, if you're going to these places, you've got to come out yourself, you know? If you're an extrovert, then you'll probably be fine. But if you're an introvert, it can be a little bit hard talking to strangers. But, you know, just live in the moment. Just do a bit of acting if you need to, to bring yourself out of your shell a bit and to mingle and, you know, and to learn from other people, you know? Talk to these people. They might have actually taken their programmes. They might have actually done the... Um, the courses that the seminars are promoting, they might have worked with some of these people that are on stage, or they might be inspired by them and they can inspire you. It's all about enthusiasm and passion and like-mindedness. It's just great to bond with these people. And don't forget, you must um, switch off your iPad in between to conserve battery so that you can, or your other device, mobile or whatever, so you can actually take more video footage. Take extra batteries as well, that's what I do. Anyway, um, I've got to go because I've got to quickly go and get on the tube to go to the National Achievers Congress. I am so looking forward to seeing Nick and all the other entrepreneurs and speakers and I will see you soon. Until next time, take care of each other, embrace your quirky and each other's. Bye bye.